Hey guys, I'm sure by now you've already seen Avengers Endgame trailer. If you haven't, stop this video, go watch it right now because we're gonna be talking about the importance of Ant-Man in Avengers Endgame and just how much of a big role he plays. Cause people thought Captain Marvel was gonna be the one to save the world, but it's actually Ant-Man. And the seeds for that have already been planted through Ant-Man the Wasp. And the fact that he shows up in the trailer in the way he does, all but solidifies the fact that Ant-Man is the key to stopping Thanos and reversing everything that happened. Now, if you're not sure how that's going to happen or you're a bit confused that Ant-Man, of all the people in the Marvel Cinematic Universe that could help us, Ant-Man? Why Ant-Man? Well, in this video, I'm going to be breaking down exactly what Ant-Man's role is and why his movie Ant-Man the Wasp was so important to the defeat of Thanos and undoing everything that happened in Avengers Infinity War. So let's start off with the Quantum Realm. You've probably heard of the Quantum Realm if you saw Ant-Man and even in Doctor Strange it makes a small cameo. The Quantum Realm itself, what is it? Well, the Quantum Realm is a micro universe set in quantum space. Now that's a bit over my pay grade of explaining quantum physics and all that but for the sake of this movie we can go ahead and say it's a micro universe. And the reason why it's so important is because time works differently inside of the quantum realm. Time and space themselves work differently and seems to be unaffected by the outside time of space outside of the quantum realm. And that is a whole nother universe in itself. And the reason that's important is if you follow the comics, you would know that the Infinity Gauntlet only works in the universe that you gather the Infinity Stones in. So because Thanos gathered them in the main Marvel Universe, they were not gathered in the quantum realm, so they have no effect on it. So that's why Ant-Man himself, you see in the trailer that he's showing up to the Avengers Mansion, he doesn't realize what's happening because he doesn't know the snap actually happened. And that's why if you saw the end credit scene of Ant-Man and the Wasp, the Wasp, Janet Van Dyne, and Hank Pym all disintegrated while Scott was inside of the quantum realm and he just didn't know what happened. And that adds even more credence to the fact that the quantum realm is unaffected by it because if Thanos truly did wipe out all life in the universe, well not all, but half of all life in the universe, Scott would have seen some of the life forms inside the quantum realm be wiped out as well, but they weren't. So he's confused as to why they're not responding to his feedback. And if we go back and look at Doctor Strange, when the Ancient One sent him flying through the, the macrocosms of universes and realities, he goes through the quantum realm in one of his visions, and that's another easter egg that establishes it's another separate universe, a separate reality unaffected by the stones. And the key point that wraps it all up is Janet Van Dyne told Scott, Ant-Man, when you go into the quantum realm, be wary of the time pockets because they're so volatile and we just don't know what happens because they don't know exactly how volatile and how to use the time pocket so just look out for them. That's another nugget sprinkled in Ant-Man the Wasp that plays huge dividends or will play huge dividends in Avengers Endgame. Now what's really interesting is how are they going to use this information, this quantum realm and the time pockets to fight or reverse what Thanos did. Ant-Man doesn't understand what's going on, Captain America surely does it, but if you watch the trailer, you see you see Bruce Banner looking at Ant-Man's photo and that shows the correlation. Because remember, Bruce Banner is one of the smartest characters in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I mean, he created the Hulk, he created Vision, and when he was in Wakanda, him and Shuri were bouncing off ideas about how and why in the construction of Vision. So he has the brains and the know-it-all to actually grasp this concept. And of course, we know by that time, Tony's gonna make his way back to Earth. And with Tony and Bruce Banner working together, they created Vision and they housed an Infinity Stone inside of him. So we know that they can grasp this concept. They can use the time pockets and the quantum realm to actually leap through time or go to different time periods and actually hunt down their own Infinity Stones. And the reason this theory is prevalent is because we saw in the set photos for Endgame that they were back to the Battle of New York. The first Battle of New York that happened in the first Infinity War. You see Captain America there, you see Iron Man there, and then you see Ant-Man. So it's clear that Ant-Man wasn't there, because you saw the first Avengers, Ant-Man wasn't there, but in Endgame he's going to be there. So they're clearly going to manipulate time and jump around and get there because they have a concept that they can use, which are the time pockets. And in the trailer, you see Ant-Man shows up with the van that they use in Ant-Man and the Wasp, the van that has the tunnel into the quantum realm and that can actually take them in there. So he shows up with everything you need to get into the quantum realm and Captain America even states that on this mission they're going to, they cannot fail because he can't imagine failing. He can't imagine life 
if they do fail because this is a huge undertaking going back through time and messing with time you can pretty much unwind existence that way so the gravity of the situation is a lot and you see captain america weighing this gravity he says this mission has to be done and they can't fuck it up so which leads to an interesting theory they're going to have to undo what thanos does and in order to do that you need the infinity stones and the infinity gauntlet which thanos has both of them and they have no idea where thanos is or even how to get to thanos because let's be realistic none of them have working spaceships on earth so the best way to do it is to create their own infinity gauntlet and get their own infinity stones and that's why going through time will allow them to go through different various time periods and pick up different infinity stones and now the fact that they have banner there and tony they know how infinity stones work and how to attach them to creations because they again they attach it to vision so you have these guys and you have thor who has intimate knowledge out of everybody left in the avengers thor is the one with the most knowledge of the infinity stones you have that and you also remember Tyrion Lannister aka the dwarf who built Thanos' gauntlet is still alive. The dwarf who created Stormbreaker is the same dwarf who created the gauntlet. So he can recreate another one for Thor because Thor reignited his forge. So they could go back there and they could promise him we'll reverse everything that Thanos did. Bring your friends back. All we need is another gauntlet to house our stones. Or they can just create their own because again they know how to house infinity stones rocket raccoon is also still alive out of all the guardians that were incinerated rocket was still there and rocket knew how they housed the power stone in the first guardians of the galaxy movie so they had the key components to actually be able to create their own gauntlet or their own mechanisms to house the stones so essentially there will be two infinity gauntlets two sets of stones one for thanos one for the good guys so that way they can counteract anything thanos does because if they were to re-engage thanos it's irrelevant what they could do because thanos still owns the infinity gauntlet so even as badass as captain marvel may be there's only so much you can do against infinite power in the universe here's a little interesting tidbit about endgame a lot of the different locations that they're going to be in in that movie are locations we've seen before already because they have to travel to every area where they know where the stones are and now that the people who are left alive on earth and on the avengers they know every single location for all the infinity stones the first location they can go to is the battle of new york from the first avengers movie because they know loki has the tesseract which is the space stone and they also know the location of the mind gem which loki also had in the first avengers movie so that's two stones one location knocked off off rip now the second stone the reality stone is part of the worst mcu movie it's part of the whole movie of thor 2 thor knows where it is and thor's actually the one who delivered it to the collector so thor could give him that location that's already three stones down the power stone rocket and the guardians of the galaxy turned it to xandar so rocket knows the location of the power stone and he could just go and get it back in that time period so that's already four stones and the fifth stone which is the time stone tony already seen dr strange use it so he knows where to get it from th throughout time and he knows who to contact because wong is still around so they can go back to that time period and get the time stone the only one that they don't really know where it is is the soul stone tony should have the location of it even if tony does it we know nebula knows where thanos killed gamora so they have the locations for all six of the stones so this theory requires atman to bring him the quantum tunnel which he does in the trailer and them to hop through time which is sure and Amanda Wast as being possible and the fact that Ant-Man the trailer shows up and doesn't know exactly what happened and the fact that Ant-Man shows up and doesn't know what happened shows that he's actually used the time pocket and he jumped somewhat into the future after the snap and he doesn't know exactly what's going on so all of that is presented in that small teaserish trailer that they gave us and if you connect the dots throughout the different movies especially Avengers Infinity War and Ant-Man and the Wasp, you get the key components to figuring out just what is the role of Ant-Man in Endgame and just how they will defeat Thanos. And as a nugget, a lot of people don't know how Ant-Man escaped the Quantum Realm. And, that, and that's very easy. If you watch the first Ant-Man movie, you'll know that he went to the Quantum Realm and he escaped by bigifying himself with one of those do-diddies thingies that he makes stuff bigger. So he escaped that way. So it's not that much of a mystery. Anyway, guys, that's Ant-Man's involvement in Avengers Endgame. And if you guys have any interesting theories, I'd love to hear them in the comment section below because, again, because this movie is quite a few months away, so there might be a multitude of things I'm missing. So let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to hear the feedback from you guys because we could probably figure this movie out before it even comes out, and I'd love to do that. Anyway, let me know that in the comment section below. And if you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you guys haven't already. And until next time, binge on.